running with my ears open wide and trying to hear the voice that's deep inside whisper something real deep in my soul all right so we are at cook's sporting goods look at all these things they have some really cool stuff here. Um, we like to come here um, right before our archery shoots. Um, David likes to get in a little bit of practice and he likes to visit with the guys here who he has shot with since he was like a little kid. So he's over there schmoozing with them and I'm just looking at lots of stuff. They've got sweet yetis. I haven't seen the green ones. Must be like they're hunting yetis, but look at these things. I always tell them I want to take them. I just want one of them. A lot of people donate them to them when they move or... Isn't that so cool? It's pretty cool in here. It's like just kind of like a warehouse. And they have like a little shooting range over here um, that you can do archery at. But they have all sorts of stuff. This is a total man store. They've got lots of gun stuff and camo and sleeping bags um sweet camo shirt what do you think um so we are just hanging out today um hanging out at cook's and david's with me but like i said he's over there schmoozing so i'll try to get him in on a vlog they have a dog here and he's so cute he's a lab and i just pet him i come here for the dog I'll, I'll, I'll show you him if, if he comes around. This is my friend. This is my friend. All right, guys, guess who decided to join us on the vlog today? Um, we are leaving Cook's Sporting... Sportland. Sportland, sorry, Cook's Sportland. Um, we didn't really buy anything, but we sure do look at every single thing that they have in there, so... Um, David was chit-chatting with Eric, um, and now we are headed to go to some other adventure. To do something. Yeah, David can't make up his mind of what he's going to well, do with the his the weather day. is very, very terrible. Like, it looks okay now, but there's a lot of clouds and it's supposed to rain like it has been the last four or five days. So I don't know if I want to go fish or not. Because I don't really want to get poured on in the boat or struck by lightning. I don't want you to get struck I said that, that like, in that order on purpose. <laughs> Flooding the boat's more going to be a worse thing. Yeah. Wow. So we are just hanging out. I don't know what we have planned because David won't make up his mind on to what it is he wants to do. So I don't know. He doesn't know what he wants to do, so we are just driving around aimlessly until he decides. Yes. That's what we're doing guys and we're gonna bring you guys along with us for this adventure woo woo what kind do you want to get well we're doing the salmon and potato for Hawaiian right yes are we still gonna keep candle in the grain three do we need that one it's honestly up to you no are we like do we need it or are we out no we do not need it no, we've been switching Kano to the grain free because he's itchy, but he's still itching and he's still on the food, so I don't really think it has anything to do with the food. Yeah. So we're probably, after this bag, going to switch him back to the salmon and potato, because I think he did the best on that. They were on that one the longest, so we're going to buy some of that. What else do we need here? Salt. Oh, salt. This is our favorite pound store. bag of table salt. Just a pound bag of table salt. I love this store. Know, I don't know if they have it inside at all, do they? No, I think it's just out there. Okay. Do we so. need treats? Um, we could probably use treats. Let's see what I'm down the wrong aisle. Trash Supply is somewhere we come on probably a bi-weekly or weekly basis. We do a lot of shopping here for the dog's food. Um, David buys almost all of his Wavy stuff here. What was that? Wavy chicken strips with sweet potato. Ooh. I got them 
What one did I get them last time? The Dip potato. Joint. No, the potato. Oh, it's right by your hand. Down. That's the one I just got them. The sweet potato. That's chicken jerky tenders. Oh, I got them sweet potato. It's that same brand. Our doggies get, they get treats. Oh, I found it. Right here. Oh, we're gonna keep them on that? I got them this. I liked it. I mean. Did you eat them? No, I didn't eat it. Did you? You said you liked it. I mean, I like giving them to them. There you go. So that's what I got them. Um, they get treats when they, when we leave, we give them, um, a cookie for Bertha going into her kennel, even though she fights us every single moment of every single day when it oh, comes yeah. to doing that. Um, and then Kana boy gets a treat and then Razor gets a treat just because he's my favorite. So yeah, don't pray about that. Yeah. It's something I need to work on. So we are here getting some treats from Dog P is going to run over my feet guys. Not even fair. Not even fair. We also have to get, um, what else do we have to get? Salt. salt did you get well. treats or did you not get treats? We're not getting treats. We're not getting treats. Never mind. Um, we are going to get salt for our um, well, which was on my list. It was on my list. So we've achieved some of the check marks for today. Now we're on to toys. I want to buy Kano toys. Toys and brushes because he's your favorite? Yeah. He's gonna pray about that. Razor's getting replaced. That's terrible. Razor, Dave, Razor is not my favorite. Okay, he might be my favorite. I just love him a lot, guys. I just love him a lot. But I love Kano, I love Kano. We just have a love-hate relationship sometimes. I feel like every parent has that. They might love their kid, but that doesn't mean they like them, so. We are just walking around the tractor supply and I have to look at all of this stuff every single time I come here yep. because it is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at all this stuff. Mealworms. You. You. Come on. You need a beef chew? Dog. Do I need a beef chew for you it's, or for the dogs? Pork chop. Artificial bacon flavor. Can I see it? <laughs> Thank you. Do you guys want some? Beef chew, a hairbrush, or a knife. A knife? Giant knife. David likes his knife. Can I see your knife? Can't really open it because my finger's all janked up. Oh yeah, let me see your finger. Show us your finger. Tell us what you did with it. Cut it on a piece of copper at work. It's not bad. It just like gashed it. And yeah, it I don't stop know if you guys can see it. It's like all like it's all flapped. It filleted my finger. Filleted it. Julie and as we like to call it. All right, we're checking out. Water softener life. Strong husband. Now to go to the, the car. Now to go to Fish and Frank's best store. Oh yes, David's super excited. We're headed to Fish and Frank's next, guys. Sneak peek. Huh? Sneak peek. The camo blue. Really? Yeah. What's happening everyone? Uh, we're just now finishing up with Fish and Franks. Um, I got a new line. Um, I had the Seeger Smackdown tournament braid and I hated it. I will never buy it again. I would never recommend anyone else to buy it. I hate the stuff. I'm never gonna go back. Um, but I did quite a few things while we were in there. We were looking around, but I learned quite a bit and I just got done talking with Frank or actually Janine and I did. And uh, he showed us a lot of the ins and out and told us what's actually going on with the line. Um, and what they use and what they recommend. Um, and it was pretty informative, I learned quite a bit. So that's why we went with this, which I'm super excited for. Can't wait to use it and see how it actually performs. 
and I'll keep you guys checked in there. You know, it's it's just a testament to how great the people are at Fish and Franks. You know, they're, they're super nice. They want to help. They can want to be as informative as possible. They want to make sure that you're getting the right stuff for what you're going to do. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I could say enough good things about how nice that everyone is in there. You know, Josh, Frank, I mean, everybody, they're all awesome. Um, so if you need anything, you should ask me. And then if I don't know, then I probably won't recommend because I know most things. Um, but no, if you need anything, definitely go to Fish and Frank's. They're, they're great. So check them out. Another man store. We are at a gun store now in Port Charlotte looking at guns. You can see Teresa and Gary are behind us. And I've been to so many man stores today, guys. I'm getting extra points for coming here and looking at all of this stuff. So we're going to look at some guns. Can I have the SIG 1911, please? Oh, there's a shooting range, gun range on the other side. Sorry, guys. I want that Which one. one? It is... Yeah. <laughs> This one. It's the SIG, yeah. Not the Remington. No, not the other one. Oh. This one. Yeah, that one. That's the one you want. For $1,000. Why not? Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's do it up. All right, guys, so I did not end yesterday's vlog. It is now Sunday, so I'm going to put this video in um, yesterday's vlog or today's vlog, whatever. You're going to see this at the end of the video you're watching, and I didn't end the vlog yesterday. Um, the last thing you guys saw was us leaving the gun store. We were at the gun store. And it's really difficult in these times to vlog in a gun store, so I was a little uncomfortable and I just didn't think I needed to like video anymore. So that little sn sneak peek of us at the gun store, that's pretty much all that we did. We were looking at guns for our friends and we were just looking at guns. And um, so yeah, then we went to dinner and came home and I was exhausted. I was so tired from going to all these man stores that I was ready for bed. So that's what we did. We just relaxed. We went to bed. Today we went to church this morning. Um, now we're kind of hanging out with the dogs. I'm going to mow the lawn here in a little bit. And yeah. Um, Man Monday's video will be up tomorrow. And then Woman's Wednesday's video will be a little sneak peek as what's to come for the weekend. What you guys can expect for the weekend vlogs. So... I think that's all I had to tell you. David is uh, relaxing inside. He kind of had a headache. So I'm going to end the vlog today. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I had to tell you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below me so that you know when our next videos come out. Um, we have Man Monday, Woman Wednesday, and then we vlog on Saturdays and Sundays for you guys to see what we're up to. So click like, give us a big thumbs up if you liked today's vlog, and we will see you tomorrow for Man Monday.